It's Friday afternoon, second to last day of rifle season. Just got into the stand. It's like 2.50, so we have like two-ish hours to hunt. So I have two doe tags left. I'm trying to fill both of them. See if we can get lucky this afternoon, and if not, we're gonna be out tomorrow in the wind. neighbor whose house is like 250 yards away is currently having something delivered and uh, there was a pile of deer up there. I just quick caught deer moving through the woods and the sticks out in front of me. So now instead of the deer bedding behind the bulldozer like they always do, almost tight to his house, they're all out in front of me, in the woods in front of me. Good news for us. It sounds like some box truck that again, some big delivered, it sounds like. Probably gonna scare the crap out of him if I shoot. Oh, there's the first two deer of the night. It's four o'clock. It took long enough to actually get one on camera. They both look like shooter doe, but it was out there pretty far. There's some more deer moving through the brush back there. They're all going right back to that area that they got spooked out of. I mean, within an hour, they got spooked out of there. And they're already heading back in. It's crazy. They really like it down there for some reason. Or here comes another one. exact same trail. <laughs> They're all going right back to that bedding area that they got bumped out of. I mean, it, it's within an hour. They're already going back in there. It's like five or six deer. I don't know why they like that spot so freaking much. I 
never heard him walk away. Nothing. I don't know what happened to him. But every single deer I saw tonight was all heading back towards behind the bulldozer. I don't understand it, but we might have to punch two tags tomorrow. On the plus side, tomorrow's supposed to be real windy. Might be able to, if we see deer milling around like I did tonight, sneak up on them if the wind's in our favor.